Yo, 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 what is going on guys, Tyro here, aka the Light Skin Gamer LSG, and welcome to another commentary, and this is kind of a follow-up video to all the things I've been doing on Borderlands, this is not a review of the game, this is just my impressions of the gameplay, and a review will be coming at a later date, once I enjoy most of the game, I like to play the crap out of the game, and then actually give you a review, instead of rushing and doing a review immediately on something, because what if I keep playing it, and the thing that I had a problem with was actually in the game itself so I would actually like to enjoy the game before I actually give you a review, a review so it's actually a legit review so oh yeah and thank you everybody who uh, was watching the uh, unboxing that I did of this game and everybody kept telling me oh it's so funny need to do more of these and trust me I will do a lot more uh, skit unboxings. I would definitely do a lot more of that because I already do it on the other channel with my brother. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So the things that people were iffy on this game about, well, mainly was the frame rate. Now, does this frame rate hold up in this game? I will be honest with you. It runs at a steady 30 frames and then there are some times where the frames just go down sometimes it's not unplayable it's just like I, not like how jack jack and dash of the collection frames were where it really drops but no this is actually can hold a good 30 frames per second now when i was doing the uh co-op thing with zachary gaming exp our frames dropped heavy when we were in that uh city and then once we left in a bigger landscape it was fine i was like what in the world but i didn't really get that so frames yeah they do drop but at the same time it's not it's not unplayable and it's just god awful like everybody made it out to be because keep in mind this is borderlands 2 on a handheld borderlands is a very complex game it's not just uh going in an online match and shooting people no this is a freaking open world rpg type first person shooter looter i don't know games a lot of things but anyway let's go ahead and move on so another thing that people were worried about was how the controls are going to work now when I first heard that the back touch was a sprint, I didn't like it, but actually when I first started playing it, I didn't really care all that much, but then once I heard that you can change the controls to any button, you can map any button on the Vita to do anything, and I instantly went to them kills on mercenary controls because that seemed to work the best in my opinion because kills on mercenary had the best controls for a first person shooter on the Vita. Yeah, I mean Black Ops Declassified pressing the down D-pad to sprint even though it's like right next to the analog stick. It did work, but at the same time I love the circle sprint so much more than the down D-pad. So, and that with that being said, you can actually change any control into anything you don't have to have a preset of something you can make your own custom control so that's knocked out of the way okay and another thing the four player co-op thing is now two player co-op in this game and I will tell you I was really hoping for that four player co-op but we just didn't get it and that was one thing that disappointed me about this but it was not to where I was like no this game is horrible no I still had a blast playing this game let me explain this to you. I am at level 11 in this game, and I've only been playing it for a couple days. And I will technically, I've only been playing it for a full day. I was at Zach's level, and he had this game a week earlier than I did. I've been playing the crap out of this game. It has not left my Vita. I haven't even closed the app out on my Vita yet, unless I had to restart it. But. I don't know man, this game is just too much fun. But let me go ahead, I think there's one more thing that people were a little bit scared about, and that was how the gameplay was gonna work on the Vita besides not the controls, like how it was gonna look like in terms of graphics, because of course it is gonna be downscaled, but I gotta be honest with you, it really doesn't look that bad. When I look at it on console, I was like, okay, I see where they downgraded that, but then there are times where I don't even notice it and I even feel bad that I never played this game on console yet besides a demo of the first Borderlands. This game is freaking amazing. So if you have not, and I repeat, if you have not ever played Borderlands before in your life and you have a Vita and you are thinking about getting this game, get this game. You are going to really, really enjoy it because I have been playing it non-stop. And it's actually challenging too. It's, it's really challenging, especially the freaking uh badass psychos, them dudes, the huge psychos that run at you. It is ridiculous. I'm really, really, really loving this game. And you get all six uh DLC add-ons with this game. 
game too. So that's even more content for you. So this game has a lot of content and I don't know if you ever noticed about Borderlands but there's a crap load of guns in this game. When they literally said there's like damn, damn there a million guns in the game, they're not playing. There's a lot of guns in the game. There are no guns. Well then again some of the guns can just have like one different attachment on it and they call it a whole nother gun but this man, I've been running into guns like crazy and this game has been, oh yeah, and Claptrap, that little guy, that's that's my little homie, I like him. Oh yeah, and another thing before I wrap this up, if you guys are subscribed to Zachary Gaming's EXP or if you're not, go ahead and do that right now. I'll put his channel in the link down in the description because we are doing the co-op Fridays. He's probably going to upload it probably today or maybe tomorrow, but you gotta go ahead and get in that because you gotta go ahead and watch it tune in with us because we've been having a lot of fun on that game so as always thank you guys for tuning in i really did hope you enjoyed this video because i enjoyed playing the crap out of this game and just thinking about this game after i'm done playing it that's how good this game is to me so thank you guys for tuning in even though it does have its its issues but this game is still good all right like comment subscribe and that is it guys tyrogas out